Howdy folks, uh, Buzz here. I want to do a quick uh, video and show you my new uh, setup for the cross drill. You might remember in a previous YouTube clip I had uh, this mounted on the Myford uh, milling attachment. Now that fits on the cross slide here, but the problem with that is I've only got that movement and that movement. I haven't got any angular movement. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to mount that on the compound slide so whatever angle that was I could then machine a slot into what I'm uh, ever got on the lathe spindle here so I I've, I've been making a few of these sort of rocket uh, type things for a little while and uh, they're, all, they're they're coming on great but they need a bit little bit more detail like windows and um, little sort of bits and bobs holes and things like that putting around the circumference especially on the angles which I think will look quite nice and to do that, I was wondering how I could do that with it, without getting the the, the cut um, to go in the correct orientation, if you know what I mean. So instead of being straight, if say if that cut was on that angle there, you would get the cut thick inside the tapered at this end and thinner out here. What I wanted to do is get it even across. And the only way I could think of that was doing, putting, making this attachment to fit on the Dixon's tool holder. Now I'm only making small items and it's only um, soft material, aluminium and brass and things like that. So I thought I'd give it a whirl and we'll see how we go. So I'll try and edit this to put another clip on the end of this. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Right, let's give it a whirl. I've got this attachment that came with my lathe. It's quite a nice piece of kit. And uh, basically it fits on the uh, wheel there and um, it indexes the wheel that way. I've only used it a couple of times, so we'll give it a, we'll give it a whirl and we'll see how we get on. So just bear with me while I stick this on. Oh, I've missed. There we go. Oh. Ow. So I've already tapered Put a tape on that piece of aluminium there as you can see. So all I want to do is test this head along with this attachment. So if I say we'll just stick that in there for now and I'll turn on this attachment. So my atta I've made up a it's like a car connection point. For that and my control unit is down here for it look so all i want to do is i want to test my theory that i can do a machine like a, a window in the in the body of a, a one of my rocket models or something so i'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I'll, what I'll do is I'll... And then what would we do, we'd go... <clears throat> let's say six, two, three, four, five, six that way. Come back. Was it six? I can't remember what I did now. Six that way. And six back the other way. I must remember to go the other way. This is a bit stiff this. So that'll be about ten, will it? So let's go in a tad more. I 
and then six again down one two three four five six Oh shit, shit, I've gone the wrong world. So I'll be back the other way, which will be like me. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, let's take that out and have a look. Oh, there you go, look, so it's done a, it's done a fair job. What I want to do is I want to make sure that um, Oh, what I've got to remember to do is move the move the lines. Uh, sorry, move the carriage and the slides the, the correct way. Otherwise, it's going to ruin the job. But yeah, I think that's going to be quite uh, quite good. Well, I think what I'll do now is I'm going to uh, stick a smaller cutter on there, and we'll come back and we'll try another. Try another one. Right, see you in a moment. Right then folks, as you can see I've put a small uh, ball nosed cut on there. So we'll give that a little, another little go. And uh, see if we can do a, a bit of a nicer window. So right, let's get the... Fire up the quattro as they say. So what I'll do is, this is just, there's no measurements here, it's just purely, just kind of going for it, you know. So if we count, let me just count this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'll go all uh, this way. Uh, one, two, three. Six, six, and then back the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six, and now we need to be coming uh, down the way. Six. Go in a little bit. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, let's give that a let's give that a look. <coughs> the only pain with this is you have to unscrew the unscrew that to disengage that uh, worm gear. So have a look. Oh, there you go. Look, you see that's not bad. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Is that a window? It is, isn't it? So that's kind of 
the effect I'm going to try and get with my uh, the uh, rockets that I make, especially on the, the cone section, because it'd be nice to put a little hatch on there or something and some other detail around the uh, rockets in uh, various increments around there, around the circumference. But yeah, that, that looks pretty good, eh? So what do you reckon, guys? Any, have you got any tips or tricks for me to improve? So there you go, chaps. So that's um, this now has been mounted on a redundant uh, holder for a passing off tool. I had two of those, so what I did was basically just attach that piece straight through and bolted it through. And because uh, it's like I say, I'm only doing aluminium and brass, it's quite secure enough just to do these small cuts. But uh, yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'll be able to adjust that um, compound slide to any angle I want and do uh, other other various bits and bobs. So yeah. So obviously I can just tie that down. Why is that doing that? Oh, there we go. Look. So I can also do little steps like that. One, two, one, two, one, two. So yeah. And then bring oh, I could do all sorts with this, I think. It'd be quite a nice little uh Nice little attachment. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. So it might be worth a. Oh, there you go. Look. Oh yeah. I think some good detail on my uh, on my rockets. Anyway, hope I haven't bored you too long, fellas. And uh, like I say, if you've got any uh, ideas or other sort of um, ways of doing things that um, that may be beneficial to me and what I'm trying to do, just pop them in the comments below. Like I say, I said before, I'm not an expert. I try and do my best and work out things for myself. But I'm like I say, if there's any any other tips you guys have got, then uh, just write them down below, and uh, I'll take it from there. Maybe try them out. So, cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Have fun. See ya.